Hello, this is Doug Tidwell. I was recently sitting in my corner office admiring the scenery through my floor to ceiling windows when I received an email from Agile practitioner Thomas Fischer of Fuss in Germany. Thomas writes, Dear Doug, longtime viewer, first time caller, I have followed along with your recent chatbot, Docker and Kubernetes videos, love them, and now I've built a Docker image with the Ramses II chatbot. How do I get the credentials for the chatbot into my Kubernetes cluster? Please help. Mit Freundlichen Grüßen, Agile Practitioner Thomas Fischer, Fussen, Germany. Thomas, thanks for your email. I'll be glad to help. Over the next few minutes, I'll show you how to get the Ramses II chatbot up and running in Kubernetes. The challenge, as you pointed out, is working with the credentials. The Hello World application we deployed to Kubernetes earlier didn't need credentials, but the chatbot does. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is clone this GitHub repo and switch to its directory. Everything here is based on the Watson Developer Cloud Team's Conversation Simple repo. That's what we used at the end of the second chatbot video. Much respect to the 21 contributors who have built and maintained that code base. We've tailored the README file for this video, so take a look if you want to follow along as we go. Our starting point is that you have a cluster in the IBM Cloud. You've also got a Docker image that contains an app that needs credentials, and you've uploaded that image to your container repository in the IBM Cloud. Finally, you've configured the kube control command to work with your cluster. To solve the problem, we'll create a Kubernetes secret that contains the credentials your app needs. We'll use the secret to set the credentials as environment variables inside the Docker container. Now it's YAML time. YAML is a recursive acronym that stands for YAML Ain't Markup Language. It's self-described as a human-friendly data serialization standard. YAML is more than 15 years old, but it's recently become quite common. If you haven't seen it before, you'll see it often from now on, especially as you work with Kubernetes. In our previous Kubernetes video, we didn't have to use YAML because we could specify everything we needed from the command line. Today, we're doing things that go beyond what the command line can do, so we'll specify exactly what we need with YAML files. To create the Kubernetes secret, open the convo secret YAML file from the repo. This file gives the secret a name and defines the credentials you want to store. The wrinkle here is that you have to base64 encode the values before you put them in the YAML file. If you're on Linux or the Mac, encode the secrets with echo-n, the value in double quotes, then pipe that into the base64 command. Dash n is important because it doesn't include a new line after the data. If you're on Windows, you'll need to use one of the many base64 encoding tools available on the web. By the way, Windows includes certutil, which can do base64 encoding, but it always includes the new line character in the data, so it won't work. At any rate, once the data is in base64, paste the three values into the convo secret YAML file, and you're ready to go. To create the secret, type kubectl create f convo secret.yaml. Before we go to the next step, type kubectl proxy to start the Kubernetes console. Go to localhost 8001 slash UI. And now a mailbag update. Hello. 
Since this video was filmed, the IBM Cloud has moved to the latest stable build of Kubernetes. As a result, you'll most likely have to log in before you can access the Kubernetes console. To get the token you need, go to the command line and type kubectl config view. Copy the value of the ID token in the YAML output, go to the browser, select token, paste in the value, and sign in. From there, you're good to go. This has been a mailbag update. We now return you to our original video. And you'll see this panel. If you scroll to the bottom of the menu on the left and click Secrets, you'll see the secret you just created. Get to know the console. It has lots of extremely useful features that can help you manage your cluster and figure out what went wrong when something goes wrong. Now onto the YAML file that deploys the Docker image. Open convodeployment.yaml in your favorite editor or someone else's favorite editor, it doesn't matter. The three things we care about here are the name of the Docker image we're deploying, the port number the container should expose, and the three environment variables for the credentials. As you can see, the environment variables are set from the secret we just created. When the image is deployed, your app has everything it needs to run. Save the YAML file and go back to the command line. Type kubectl create f convo deployment.yaml to create the deployment. Next, take a deep breath and type the exhausting command kubectl expose deployment convo dash dash type equals node port dash dash port equals 3000 dash dash name equals convo service. When the service is created, type kubectl describe service convo service to get the randomly assigned port number that the Kubernetes cluster gave to the service. The last thing we have to do is use the bluemix command to get the external IP address of the cluster itself. BXCS workers mailbag gives us that address for the mailbag cluster. And we're done. Combine the cluster's IP address with the service's port number in your browser, and you'll see the chatbot app up and running in all its glory. It's live on the web, so anybody in the world can help Ramses II plan his day. Thomas, that's how you use Kubernetes secrets to manage credentials. I hope that was useful. And we'll see you again soon with another episode of the Developer Works Mailbag. This episode was brought to you by Developer Works Anchovy Paste. Our special blend of herbs, spices, and lime caught Alaskan anchovies produce a taste that's thankfully unlike anything else fit for human consumption. So try it today and you'll see why we say the taste of our fish base paste will put a smile on your face. Developer Works Anchovy Paste, the official condiment of the Developer Works mailbag.